In fifth part of our video series, uh, we will cover structured data markup and open graph. Open graph protocol is not directly SEO related, however, in our projects it uh, often falls under um, SEO scope of work. However, first of all, let's dig into what is structured data markup. When we are speaking about structured data markup, uh, we actually uh, should learn some more terms. And first term is Google Rich Snippets. So, in simple words, it's a highlighted result uh, Google shows to the user in search results. So, over the time, Google is adding more and more additional information to its search results to ensure that uh, people better understand where to click and which result is the most suitable for them. Basically, simplifying uh, choice for people. So, here is quite a common example of how Google rich snippets or these en enhanced results are looking. If we are searching for a product, quite often we might see uh, star rating, reviews, uh, often also price or price ranges, as well as information if the specific product is in stock or it's already out of the stock. So, in general, there is bigger probability that people will click on your result if you have uh, good reviews and quite a lot of reviews. And maybe if you have some really good offer on your website. So this actually is really good um, opportunity for the clients who have this uh, um, good reputation or lower prices to get more clicks from Google. Um, how it's done in practice? So there is often this question, hey, but how can I make my website to have this amazing like stars here or reviews here. Um, so it's achieved by implementing structured data markup on your page. And let's just quickly uh, see an example what you need to do uh, to uh, have such results. So now let's move to Google itself and explore uh, one of the results in details and we will be opting uh, to dig into this website which has ratings reviews and price range from two try to remember at least approximately these numbers here click and we are landing on the product description page and here we have um, reviews, here we have stars, and here, is, and here we have one of the uh, prices mentioned in Google results. So cool, we have this information, but in general, Google is not so smart to understand how exactly on your website price is looking in the code and how reviews are looking in the code and uh, maybe there is a school like this or maybe there is SQU uh, just like number or some random characters so Google needs some hint regarding information you have on the page to be able to convert it to Google rich snippets and for that we are going back to structured data markup and if we look for uh, type uh, we can actually find uh, the information um, what Google uh, what Google could use in order to better understand what is the page about and here exactly we have um, information um, about product and offer on the page. So there is mentioned this part of the code 
discovering that here is the product called Apple AirPods with charging case, which is in the latest model, very important. Uh, that's the link to the image. Here we can also see uh, some additional information about color, brands, uh, school, etc. So it's all covered in this uh, in these lines. Also here you can already see there is a high price, 129. There is also a low price. We don't see it on uh, PDP. Not sure where exactly it's coming from, but it's mentioned here as low price. So maybe there is some additional discount possible to get. And this is actually what we also saw on the Google searches also, this range from this to this price. And uh, there is also currency availability if it's in stock or out of the stock and some additional information about the condition that it's new product. So basically here we are displaying some of the better explaining to Google information which you could already read here. And um, also adding something which is maybe not uh, directly uh, mentioned somewhere. For example, the same like uh, is the item in stock or uh, is it a new item or it's a uh, uh, used uh, product. Uh, what to note? What it's important to note that schema org which is vocabulary uh, for structured data markup attributes has, I believe, over 1,000 at least different attributes. It means that you can mark up basically everything, starting with the product, what we just explored, then movies, books, uh, for example, author of the um, painting has its own special attribute. Uh, book uh, publisher has its own specific attribute. So basically we could double amount of the code by ensuring that each smallest element of the page has its uh, description added. Does it make sense to do something like that? No, it doesn't. Because uh, if we go to official Google documentation, uh, we can see as search gallery or the list of schema org structured data elements which are uh, accepted by Google. Accepted by Google, it means that it uses these attributes and transforms them, uh, transforms them into rich snippets in one or another way. And uh, just let's very quickly um, run through the list and I will show you um, those rich snippets which uh, might be applicable to our clients. Um, first, for bookstores, um, there is possibility to uh, add some uh, additional markup in order to appear in some nice... Uh, uh, rich results when people are looking specifically for books. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs um, in Google search appear like this. So instead of the URL, you have their uh, homepage, arrow, uh, and category names. So it helps also Google to better understand the structure of the website. So it's not only it's not so much about looking nice, but for uh, SEO purposes. Let's go a bit lower. Another less popular uh, structured data markup type for our clients is FAQ. FAQ um, is uh, uh, transferred in Google as people also ask. So, for example, if I'm searching how to use swaddles, uh, 
here is appearing some related questions. And to appear here, it's good to have a FAQ markup implemented on your website. It just helps our clients to get more traffic to the website. Similar is how to. Maybe for some of our clients is relevant to explain some process. For example, how to tie a how to tie a tie. Uh, local business. For the uh, websites which have physical stores or physical office which can be visited by people. Logo. Um, it's just uh, displayed in uh, knowledge graph. Panel. I will quickly show you how it looks. For example, if we are looking for Scandiweb, we will actually see both. So on the right side, you will often see information about famous people or uh, companies. So here is our logo. And actually, um, we have also uh, either added ourselves to uh, Google My Business or added local business structure data markup so that uh, there is also information available about working hours, phone number, um, and even information about how busy is Scandiweb. Like, uh, maybe it should be a bit more useful for some museum or a busy cafeteria in uh, non-COVID times. Uh, next, the one we covered already is product markup. And that's probably the most important one for our clients who, as I mentioned, have a better rating and, if possible, lower prices. Also, it helps to understand that product, for example, is in stock or out of the stock. Um, the reviews. Um, so it's uh, addition to the uh, product markup, which is uh, more about uh, uh, ratings. So here is also separate uh, reviews can be marked up. Uh, site link search box. For some websites, it makes sense that there is small search box appearing next to uh, the results, so people can right away look for some specific information. And that's basically it. Um, so those are the main um, main types of structured data markup you might see in your project. However, in practice, the most important one is product markup and reviews if you are having uh, if your client is having ones and product markup is uh, already incorporated out of the box for scandi pwa so it's something we did already um, uh, for core and uh, if you are working with scandi pwa it's just important to qa uh, if it's working properly um, even Magento uh, to default version has uh, built-in product markup. Unfortunately, it's not very, uh, it's not the best. So usually when we are working with Magento 2, we are always uh, setting up uh, product and also different uh, other uh, structured data markup uh, types via extensions. Usually it's uh, Mageworks. Um, sometimes when um, there are reviews present and implemented uh, via extension, for example, Yotpo or any other one, often uh, it also has some inbuilt um, structured data markup uh, solution so that the reviews are already marked with the structured data markup. Um, if you want to implement some FAQ or how to, or uh, books markup, it uh, should be done as a custom solution. So need to evaluate if it really makes sense for you. Let's quickly explore uh, example from our own project. So if you are looking at Sportland LV search results, we can see that there are products which are um, having price and information about uh, in stock. So as uh, Sportland products don't have reviews nor neither reviews nor uh, star rating, 
it's not something we are seeing here. So let's click on the results. And we will have here a volleyball uh, ball bearing. Yeah. So again, we see the price and um, it's available. So there is information uh, that it's in stock. And what we can see in the code is that um, here is an offer and uh, there is one offer currently. So there is one type of ball, no different colors. Here it's that uh, information that it's in stock, uh, product price. So we have high price and low price. In this case, they are matching. Um, if there would be different uh, colors, different sizes, and they would have different prices, then this uh, data would be different. It's maybe not the best setup. So there's uh, redundant information. There could be just one price as it's only one uh, type, but it's something how we have it currently for the specific release of uh, Scandi PWA. But as you can see, the um, structured data markup is working and uh, hopefully this discount does a job and people actually are choosing uh, Sportland uh, volleyball balls over uh, competitors ones. And in the last part of the video, Let's briefly touch a topic uh, related to shares in social media like Facebook, Slack, uh, any chats like WhatsApp, Telegram, etc., LinkedIn, or any other social network. Um, we will cover Open Graph Protocol. What it means in practice? Um, in practice, more, most often we have seen it in Facebook and you might notice yourself that when you are sharing some URL on Facebook, it automatically grabs some data. Normally it's title, it's, the, it's a description, short description, URL and some image. Um, and the thing is that um, if you don't specify from your end, so from your website end, which, uh, which image should Facebook choose, it just picks a random image. In our case here, image was predefined. And if we post this URL, we can see that uh, it appears with uh, Sportland colors and some athletes uh, uh, doing training. So this is actually the aim of uh, OG tag, provide specific information which should be picked by Facebook or other social networks and because it actually uh, helps to avoid some unexpected surprises. Um, because sometimes you might see broken logos or broken images or not relevant images appearing. Um, for PWAs and Sportland.e is built on Scandi PWA platform. Uh, OG tag is not built out of the box. So it's something uh, which, which was implemented as a custom solution. And let's see how it looks in, uh, in code. So if we search for OG, We see some uh, lines in code, website, title, OG description, so short description about the page, matching the meta description, URL, and this is the image. So in uh, Slack, it appears a square. In Sportland, it's cut off and appears the lower part. Uh, what to take into consideration if you see that the uh, OG tag is relevant for your project uh, because it might depend on uh, social networks, it might depend on referral traffic. For Scandi PWE, if you don't implement it in code, 
most often a website is shared in such way that yeah there, there is URL they might be a title and short description but the image is missing and obviously it might affect uh, click-through right so people might not notice such share this one looks way more prominent uh, so if you want to to implement this solution there are certain guidelines from uh, Facebook so either consult with SEO team or just Google yourself according to the requirements so that uh, it's shared in the correct way. Um, for usual Magento, uh, we have um, OG tag as part of MageWorks SEO extension covered so it's quite easy to define from backend which image which uh, we want to be shared when we are sharing URLs related to homepage CMS pages and PLPs. For product images, we want to opt for actual product image. So it was just a brief intro so that you are aware what it is and uh, why it's important.